Hey everyone, CNC Keith here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to control CNC 12 so that it will automatically start when Windows boots. So you have two selections uh, when you install Centroid CNC 12 in this regard. You can either have a desktop icon like I have here right now, and you can double click that to start CNC 12 mill, lathe, or router. Um, or you can, um, a lot of industrial customers that um, want the control system to boot, CNC 12 to boot when the control system is powered up. So when Windows boots, CNC 12 will just automatically boot and the operator does not have to do anything. They wouldn't have to double click on this icon to get CNC 12 to start. So let's see where that selection is. On the installation screen, as soon as I agree to the legalese, the next screen says two checkboxes, install desktop shortcuts and start CNC 12 at startup. All right, if you check that box, what the installer is doing is simply dropping a shortcut into a Windows folder that tells Windows to run start.bat, which is in the CNCM directory. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna cancel out of this. If you did the install and did not check that checkbox and you have it set up like I have it now where I just have an icon to double click CNC 12 to start it, which I'm just doing, and you now want it to start when Windows boots, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you how to manually do that without having to reinstall the software. All right, I'm just gonna close down CNC 12. So there's a couple different ways to do this, but um, I'm going to hit the Windows uh, key on my keyboard and hit the letter R. And this run shell shows up, and I'm going to type in shell colon startup and hit OK. And that takes you directly to the Windows folder where any shortcuts um, to anything, really, that you want Windows to start automatically when it boots is located. So. So that's step one. Let me just minimize this down a little bit here. Okay, the next thing I want to do is navigate to the CNCM directory, and I'm going to sort the file names by name, and I'm going to scroll down to the letter S and look for start.bat. There it is right there. There's the start.bat file that I'm interested in. So to get this installed into the Windows startup folder, I'm going to right-click, and um, let's get on it, right-click, and hit create shortcut. So it just created a shortcut right above it. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. You can rename it to whatever you want. I'm gonna go start CNC 12 is the name of mine. Now, uh, once I have the shortcut um, created, I'm gonna copy that. And it looks like I lost my uh, Windows startup screen. So uh, I'm gonna hit Windows key on the keyboard R. It remembered my command shell colon startup, hit enter and it brings that back up. And all I gotta do is right click paste the shortcut into this folder. Now, the very next time that Windows boots, it's going to uh, see this um, shortcut to this batch file and it will run that batch file. So what, ex what exactly is in this batch file? Let's check it out. Let's edit with Notepad. So the first two lines is it doing the classic pinging of the two ethernet adapters, one on the PC, the other ones on the Acorn. This is a cool little thing to do um, to verify and see that information on startup. Now, this batch file is just a text file, so it's fully editable. If you don't want the pinging, just go delete it or comment those lines out. Now, you may notice the third and the fourth line are to start CNC mill, and the fourth line is to start CNC lathe. Well, I have CNC router installed, and there's no line for CNC router. So let's go ahead and make it. I'm going to just come down here and change the T to an R. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now it will start CNC router. So I'm going to hit save. You could also delete or comment these lines out as well if you don't need them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Bam file save all done easy peasy next time i start windows uh it will ping the two ethernet ports and give me that information and it will start cnc 12 router 